What's up everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie. Today we're gonna be in Springdale, Arkansas. We're driving into town right now. We're coming in on 412 from Oklahoma. And uh, this is one of the fastest growing regions of the country. Allegedly, we're gonna find out what it's really about out here. We're gonna see what it's about. I wanna start driving from the outskirts uh, recording so you guys can see uh, what it's actually like in the area. I mean, you're, you're probably watching this video because you're moving here. Sorry. So if you're moving here, you would probably wanna know as much as possible about the area since it is one of the fastest growing areas in the country. The surrounding area is rural. There's a lot of chicken plants. And this region here just about holds the vast majority of Arkansas's Hispanic population. But from what I can tell, they're here to work in chicken plants and other agricultural jobs that are not really uh, attracting people that um, are skilled. You're looking at people that are coming here just to work. A lot of them don't even know how to read or write very uneducated people that are just coming here to work migrant jobs. So it's not like when you look at the Hispanic population here, it's like it's a progressive place. It's like, you know, there's people that are coming here and, you know, they're very um, uneducated and poor country people. So this area also doesn't have a lot of African-Americans. Um, most of the African-American population in Arkansas is in the south side of the state in the east. In the northwest corner where we're at now, it's mostly white. Um, so, let's see what it looks like out here. And, you know, Arkansas is definitely not everybody's cup of tea. It's a very, the vast majority of the state is country rural. And it's, it's definitely um, its own beast. So, it's definitely not for everybody. But, so many people are moving to this particular city in Arkansas because they feel it's more um, faster growing and there's more potential. Uh, so we're gonna explore and see. As you can see, we're driving in the town and there's brand new apartments right there. Looks like some brand new apartments going up on the right. Um, just my observation of the area so far, it's just, it's a very poor rural area. And, and, and the Spanish people that are here are also Poor rural people as well. Um, extreme northwest corner. Fayetteville is right to the south of Springdale. Fayetteville is considered to be very fast growing. Um, Springdale has a massive Spanish population. I believe from what I can see already that the population of Spanish people in Arkansas is probably 10 to, 10 to 20 percent more than what's on the books easily so the Spanish population here is a much more significant portion of the population um, so we're going to drive around town and see what it's about it is a Friday night this is called Tonatown. Tonatown. Yeah. This is right outside. Yes, it's right outside the suburb. Yeah. <clears throat> They're building. Even the smaller towns are getting a lot of construction out here. We just passed Salem Springs, which is a much smaller town. Mm -hmm. And again, ooh, ATV. ATVs and side by side. You know, it's funny. I actually test drove a side by side. I didn't like it at all. Did I tell you that? No. You know, I've been crazy about side by sides. Yeah. I actually got on one. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. They feel really like it's like the ATV. You just feel like you got freedom, you know? Yeah. You're out in the open. There's no freedom. Dude, that thing feels so close. They feel so claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. The seats feel hard. It's nothing like an ATV. Okay. It's not an ATV, basically, where you feel that sense of freedom. It's something like that. But even like the smaller towns in the region of the state are getting a lot of construction, a lot of stores and stuff. So if the small towns are getting it, you bet the bigger towns are. We're 
what's odd about this region <clears throat> is that despite the fact per capita incomes are high, there's still a massive percentage of the population below the poverty line, which is kind of odd. You say, huh, their average income per capita is pretty good, but so many people are below the poverty line, a massive percentage of the population, which means that not everybody here is, is actually benefiting from the economical impacts. It's only getting to some people, not to everybody. It's a Friday, but it feels like a Sunday. This place is boring. Absolutely dead. <laughs> Pass Interstate 49, and then eventually you're going to get to um, Thompson Street. It's going to be a big giant street, and we'll go down that road to the left or to the left. You're passing the yeah, left. Yeah, but way ahead, way far ahead. I mean, you got to pass the interstate, it's way far ahead. Lots of Mexican restaurants. Now, even without the Latino population, this region of the country has a lot of uh, Mexican food. Most guys I've seen so far traveling across the United 349. States. 349. Yeah, there's a lot of Mexican food in this region of the country. Mexican food is pretty much uh, Alabama, Arkansas. I mean, Mexican food is pretty much American food at this point for you know, this part of the country. Welcome to Springdale. All right. But on top of the fact that there's a demand for, because there's authentic Mexican food and then there's like Southern Mexican food. They're not the same. Like when I would move to Alabama, I was so excited. I was like, oh, there's all these Mexican restaurants. So I was super happy when I started seeing, but I started going to them and it was good. And I went to the next one, it tasted the same, tasted the same. I was like, oh no, they all taste the same. So it turned out that, you know, they have their own regional Mexican food, and it's really not authentic. But here in this area, there's a lot of authentic Mexican food, too. So you get a good mix between authentic Mexican food, the way Mexicans and, and South American, Central Americans want it, and uh, Mexican food the way the regional people want it, which is something I didn't know until I moved to the South. In Florida, you just have authentic Mexican food. If you want kind of what I call Alabama Mexican food, you'll find it here and there, but it's it's not the main the most common thing. The gas is really cheap here mm -hmm. in Arkansas compared to other states. Stop. I think that's in Oklahoma was surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. It says 5G, but it hasn't started moving yet. Can't stop till you get enough. the interstate, go past the Starbucks, Pizza Hut, and then eventually you get to that road I told you. Mm -hmm. It's a good time to see. I think it's like 60 or 70 thousand people live here mm -hmm. and growing rapidly. Mm -hmm. What does this remind you of? What? What does this remind you of? Can you please not fall asleep on the road? Not fall asleep. Okay. 
And that's how they're in America. People can get that Mexican restaurant. Yeah. And it was like the most hole in the wall, like. But it's weird because they initiated a conversation with me and then I, I continued it and then they cut it off. That was kind of weird. Yeah. Do you notice that? Yeah. They initiated the conversation. Which they didn't have to because I didn't, you know? Yeah. They initiated the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I engaged it and then they cut it off. That was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. You think that was kind of odd? You yeah. noticed it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's weird. Small time people are strange, man. I guess that maybe they realized that, that I spoke Spanish. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Holy crap, no. These small time people are weird, man. I don't even try to figure them out anymore. Small time people are strange. This looks like a prep, man. Yeah. So fun. Like, it has everything new. But none of it's actually fancy. It's all kind of... Yeah. Utilitarian, basically. Keep getting the left lane. It's Thompson something. Okay. After you pass the Starbucks. They, they got AT&T, T-Mobile, this, that. There's a Starbucks right there, this, that. So they, they have everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's all new. But it still kind of looks very utilitarian. Like it's a suburban sprawl type of place. It reminds me a lot of Pratt so far. No squad of trucks yet. Mm -mm. Does this remind you of Pratt Yeah. There's like a regional movement here of uh, yeah. a, uh, tuned up sports cars, like Hondas and, and uh, lots of tuned up Hondas. Like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like import tuners? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Japanese cars and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Like spoilers and lowered cars and stuff? Kind of yeah. like, you know, Honda Civic scene and all that? Yeah. There's a jacked up truck right there. Jacked up trucks. They're not squatting. That's an interesting cinema over there. It's in like the old south, but modern. It's nice. This room aren't too far away. Feels exactly the same way all the time of this. Everything looks identical. <laughs> that was begging on like, Oh, we see so much of it. Yeah, I mean, Oklahoma, dude. I can't believe how many beggars they got. Mm -hmm. You can tell that state's got issues, for real. Oh, yes. That state's got issues. Lord, Dodge Charger, that's kind of strange. Yeah, there's like a really strange, like, New York car. And you notice that the pickup trucks is down in Cromwell, they got black wheels. Mm -hmm. The jacked up trucks, they all have black wheels. Yeah. Everywhere you go, it's got a different car scene. Mm -hmm. 
Like, well, I think one person does and everybody else copies it and the next thing you know, like, mm -hmm. everybody's doing it. Yep. Black Thank wheels you. are popular here. Yeah. Instead of chrome black. But, black wheels are also a lot cheaper. Chrome wheels are about twice the cost. Yeah. Different metal. Different metal. The difference between, like, So you see that big intersection up there? That's your intersection. Okay. Dude, this looks exactly like Bravo. Yeah, see that black Honda or black wheels? See that black truck? Black, oh, I'm not truck. even looking. <laughs> yeah. See this truck right here coming out? Watch, it's got black wheels. See that? Black wheels. Mm -hmm. Black wheels. That one right there's got black wheels. Okay. So that's like the regional thing here. It's weird. Oh snap! They got them. <laughs> they got them down there. I'm going over the Hondas and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was like a Toyota. Isn't it weird? Like everywhere you go, like there's different car scenes. That's true. Yeah, Don Juan tacos. Like, see, that's gonna be an authentic Mexican place right there. Yeah. All right, so barbershop. It's weird. Everywhere you go has got different car scenes. That is just a weird thing about. There's a lot of regional car scenes in the south. right there, lowered. Video. It's hard. Um, sure. <laughs> Do we ride for this one or what? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you want to stop somewhere and rest or go bathroom or what? Uh, the bathroom is not necessary. Well, you gotta drive, man. I got, I got headaches from driving to all these big cities. Uh -huh. Sometimes you just gotta keep chugging along, boy. Look it up. <laughs> this 
is a Friday night? Yeah. Wow. Is it me or is this dead for Friday night? Friday night should be a lot more. Lit. Especially if it's only 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. You're in the middle of a heat wave. It's finally 70 degrees because it rained. Mm -hmm. So people ought to be out and about. Is it me or is this town freaking dead? <laughs> How goes tires? Like people should be out to dinner. Mm -hmm. and it's dead. Driving around and walking around. Totally dead. It looks like there's a little bit more activity up ahead, but still. This is dead. You know, I think I think they, you know, the, the news and the, the the magazines, they'll write all types of stuff. People read it and they'll believe it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then people move to these places and. Oh, for this is the fastest car on Sandy in America. And this is not fast car. <laughs> this is like normal. This is like Prattville. Yeah. Prattville seems more exciting than this. Honestly, it, it really is. I love how they have an Iglesia and they have a pastor on the side of the building and they're like downtown. Mm -hmm. But it is for like 20% Spanish here. Mm -hmm. all, the only people on the bottom are Spanish. Mm -hmm. Antique Mall. Old soul. But you know what's weird? You'll never see in these towns. Mm -hmm. You'll almost never see a, an authentic Latin restaurant in mm -hmm. the main strip. They're always like on the outskirts. Yeah. Like it, uh, for some reason, like you'll never like. There's no often. Well, as many Latin businesses are on the outskirts. Why aren't there Latin businesses right here in the center of town? Mm -hmm. In one of these buildings. Yeah. Probably because the people that kind of here are not the same people that would go like to the outskirts. Class people. This is a Friday night here, mm -hmm. dude. This is horrible. Yeah. Can you imagine? This is a Friday night. This is like. This is, sad. Did you ride through Pratt? You drive through Prattville on a Friday night? It's fun. And there's you know old school cars. There's you know classics. There's jacked up trucks, squatted trucks. People having fun. People having fun. This is Arkansas, dead. Missouri line. Mm. This is dead. And it's 70 degrees, like, in, a, in Alabama. Everybody it, it, it could be 90 around, degrees and get people fun. This is bad, yeah. This is, like, boring. This is bad. This is bad. There's, like, nobody out. Taqueria. <laughs> okay, there's one taqueria. I'll give you that. Okay. Mm -hmm. One taqueria. Take a left here. Mm -hmm. One taqueria. Mm -hmm. Taqueria Don Muero. Mm-hmm. Get a, go um to the right if you can. I got that. That's a stop sign. Mm-hmm. Okay, go to the right. That's a stop sign. Despite the fame that this area has for growing Northwest Arkansas, the fastest ground plays in the country. This is not. Okay. Like what? Has it increased 2%? It's not that. It's just, they beef their, they, they're trying to make it, you know, they, one magazine needs to hire a thousand people. Mm -hmm. So they'll make it, they'll publish it, and then people start believing it. Mm -hmm. You know? You're going to hit the curb, you're going to hit the curb. No. Yeah, you are. I wouldn't be telling you if you weren't about to do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you are. So it's kind of why we're mentioning it here. I don't know. There's, there's a reason why we're mentioning it. Because you are. Depressing. Absolutely depressing. Right. Mm -hmm. I 
don't see anything here that would make me want to move. Mm -mm. It's boring. Yeah. Prattville, Alabama has more life yeah, than Yeah, it this. really does. And it's got a smaller population than this, by the way. Yeah. You drive to Prattville on a Friday night, you got cars, get trucks, trucks and jacked up trucks, guys with the low, uh, you know, big, uh, they call them the antique cars, classics, on the Civic scene for sure. Mm -hmm. Mr. Taco Logos, there's two Mexican places on the main street. Mm -hmm. on top of that building up there. It's somebody actually climbed up there with a ladder to do her feet. Quería Guanajuato. people here are working in the chicken plants which is who would want to, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to for that one mm -hmm. couldn't pay enough to do that crap mm -hmm. we got two options we can try to make it up to uh, again black wheels are the thing in this town Get up to uh, Rogers tonight and then drive back to Fayetteville. You're ready to go back to the How far is Rogers? It's 18 minutes. Let's get that out of the way and then tomorrow yeah. we can head out in the morning. To Fayetteville and keep going. can stay in Fayetteville and then have a driving day tomorrow.
to get people out of California. I'd want them out too. If I could build houses without it being yeah, like like in Southwest Florida to build, to build where we live, you got you got to bring in dump trucks. Mm -hmm. You got to bring in wood. The woods here. The woods here. The dirt is here. Everything's here. You know, you're getting a cheap product because there's no effort involved in making. And even then, it takes them forever to build a house. Nothing special to me. Nothing special to me. Hiring part-time drivers. You know, who, who, who's really blowing up these types of places? The builders. Because they're building you a product where the wood is there, the ground, the dirt's ready to go. You know? Everything's accessible. Alright guys, check it out. There it is. 